Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at the only way to actually run the game Hogwarts Legacy on Apple Silicon hardware. So if you didn't already know, Hogwarts Legacy has just been released. And unfortunately, there's no Mac port of this game. It's only available on desktops on the Windows operating system. Furthermore, the game makes use of the graphics API DirectX 12. And currently, there's no local way to play DirectX 12 games. It's not supported by Parallels or Crossover at this time, although that might change in the future. Therefore, the only way to play this game is going to be through cloud streaming. And if you don't know what cloud streaming is, it's basically streaming the video information of the game from a server. And you can effectively play the game as long as you have a very decent internet connection. It can feel almost like local gameplay. And today I'm going to show you a new method of running Boostroid, which is a cloud gaming service which just released its Mac client. This is going to make it easier than ever to be able to play these cloud streaming games on your Apple Silicon Mac and get big release games like Hogwarts Legacy where working on Apple Silicon hardware. So I'm going to be showing you how to do all of that today. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So what we're going to do here is go to the boostroid.com website, which I'm going to leave a link to in the description. If you do click the link and make a purchase, I'll receive a small commission and you'll be helping to support this channel and the work that I do. So what we're going to do here is click the sign in button on the top right hand side, and then we will create a new account. Or if you have an account already, then go ahead and log in. Here I'm going to press create an account and I'll enter my email, phone, and password details. So once I've signed up, it's asked us to activate with our email account. Just go ahead and find the email and then press activate account. And then we're going to log in with the account we just created. And now Beastroid is ready to go. So one thing that you should definitely do is to test the speed of your internet connection before you make any purchase for Beastroid. So just click the button at the top right hand side of the screen. So here it's saying that my connection is too slow, but that's because I'm running this through Wi-Fi. So one thing I highly recommend doing is connecting your MacBook directly to the internet using an ethernet cable. So what I'm using is a DockTech dock, and this allows you to add various USB devices, charging, etc. But the most important thing is that we have an Ethernet cable which connects directly to our router. This is going to hugely improve our latency. If you use Wi Fi, then you're going to experience some dropouts, some lag, and this is going to be death for cloud gaming. So make sure to check the link in the description for this DockTech hub. And then here, what we're going to do is to make sure that we disconnect our Wi Fi. And then if we click on network settings, you can see here that we have our dock connected and that we're connected to the internet only through the ethernet port. So now that we're connected via ethernet, we're getting a decent latency of 16 milliseconds, which is the recommended number as long as it's under 20 milliseconds. And we're getting a bandwidth of 46 megabit per second, which is over the recommended 25 megabit per second. So we're getting an excellent score here. As long as you get an excellent score like this, then this cloud gaming service is probably gonna work great for you. So now what we're gonna do is to click the subscribe and play button, and we're gonna start a subscription. So on the left, we have the per month subscription. So that's paying my by month, so you can just cancel at any time. On the right hand side, we have the ultimate subscription, which is $7.49 per month. However, you're locked into one annual payment of €89.89. Today, what we're going to be doing is the monthly subscription. It's probably the best for you if you want to test this out for the very first time. So click on this. Here, we're going to accept the terms and conditions, and then we're going to go ahead and make a payment. So now our payment has gone through. I'm going to be free to start using the service. So now we're going to go back to Boostroid and then click on our apps. And then we're going to go ahead and download and install the macOS client for Boostroid. So click on here, download from macOS, allow downloads from boostroid.com. Once that's finished downloading, we're going to go to Finder and then we're going to go to our downloads folder and then double click on Boostroid install x64, double click on this DMG file. And then we have the Boostroid application here, which we're going to drag and drop into the applications folder and let go. And now that's installed. So within Apple applications, we're going to go ahead and find the Boostroid application and then double click. Here it's saying that the app is downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Press the open button. Now it's saying it's loading up and now we need to log into our username and password. So here we're going to close the patch notes, press OK. And now what we can do is do a search for Hogwarts and then we're going to find an option for Hogwarts Legacy Steam and also Hogwarts Legacy Epic. So these are two different versions of the game and it says here license is required. So you need to buy this game first and associate it with your Steam account or your Epic Games account before we can move on to the next step. So today I'm going to be using the Steam version of Hogwarts Legacy. So what you need to do is to go ahead and make a purchase of Hogwarts Legacy on your Steam account. So log into Steam here and then purchase the game. And then once you're ready, we're going to go ahead and continue with the Boost World client using this Hogwarts search. And then we're going to press install and play. So here it says that Boost World lets you play your games on our servers. So we need to sign into our Steam account. So I'm going to press OK, let's go. 
it's saying that it's preparing your saved data. It's just loading everything up. Press accept all and then accept. And that's going ahead and downloading the game files to the server. So here we need to sign in with our Steam account and password, or you can sign it in by pointing your Steam app on your mobile phone to this QR code. So now that we're in Steam, we're gonna click on the library section here and then type in Hogwarts to find Hogwarts Legacy and then double click. Here it's gonna go ahead and install, press agree. Now it's saying it's ready to launch, press play game. So this game's now loaded up. So as you can see, the latency is really not too bad. If I press the space button here, we've got jumping and it feels pretty good. You can see that the stream is pretty compressed, to be honest. So the quality is not necessarily there. However, the actual feel of the game is quite good. It's like we're playing on a streaming service, of course, but it's also a little bit lower quality. However, it's perfectly playable. So you can see if I'm moving my mouse around, the screen's moving. I can move around the screen here and I've got the jump button here and the latency feels okay. So as you can see, Hogwarts Legacy runs great on Boosteroid, especially considering that this is now a day one release and it's currently the only way to play the game on Mac hardware. Hopefully we're gonna have other ways to play this Windows game on Apple Silicon Macs in the future through crossover or parallels once support for DirectX 12 is implemented. Furthermore, we have the Nintendo Switch release, which could possibly be emulated using an emulator like Ryujinx. If you wanna find out more about Switch emulation, then please make sure to follow the link in the description. If you enjoyed Hogwarts Legacy on Boostroid, there are plenty of other games that you can try out. For example, Apex Legends, Call of Duty Warzone, Fortnite, and plenty of others too. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.